heat, so we have to work out the volume of water in the pool when it is filled to its maximum depth. So everything here is in meters, so we're just going to use the formula pi r squared h because that's the volume of a cylinder. So that's in the log tables. So it'll be pi times radius, which so the radius will be half of 2.4 because 2.4 is the diameter there, so it'll be 1.2 squared times h, which is 0 0.9. And then we're just using the calculator. Actually, it's not going to be the 0 0.9. It's going to be maximum. It's the maximum depth there, I see. So it's 0 0.75. We're going to be using here for the height. So just make sure to read all the question. And you get 3.39 then. So it'll be meters cubed. So that's the volume of the tank when it's full, or when it's at its full maximum depth. So the family buys three pool seats. Each pool seat is a cube with sides of length 0 0.5. So show that the vo total volume of three pool seats is this. So the volume of one of them would be 0 0.5 times 0 0.5 times 0 0.5. So that's the that would be one of them or 0 0.5 cubed. And then to get the volume of three of them, you'd have to multiply that by three. And you'll get 0 0.375 there then. So remember, volume of a cube or a cuboid is just length times width times height. So 0 0.5 times itself two times so the pool is filled with water to the height of 0 0.6 three pool seats are put into the pool so that each seat is fully covered in water find the amount by which the water level in the pool rises right so for this one then so the height is already so when it's filled to its maximum depth the the height of the water would be somewhere maybe around there so what we want to find out is how much it rises so it will rise by just a slight little bit when you put in the seats so it's it's we're taking the, the height of this cylinder in here then so it'll be pi r squared h has to be equal to the extra volume so the extra volume is 0 0.375 so the height we don't know it but the radius will still be the same so the height is what we're trying to find out what the extra little bit of height added is so that's equal to 0 0.375 so we're just going to move over the pi and the 1.2 so it'll be 0 0.375 over pi times 1.2 And that'll give it to you then, and you should get 0 0.08 meters. So that's the two decimal places as well. So part C here, should the slant height of the cone is 1.53. So that's just going to be using Pythagoras, it's a right angle triangle there. And we're looking for the long side, so we're going to do 0 0.8 squared plus 1.3 squared. We're going to add those together and then we're going to get the square root of the answer. And when you do that, you should get 1.53. So that's just using Pythagoras. So work out the curved surface area of the conical cover. So the formula for curved surface area of a cone is pi r l so l is always the slant so the slant part is the l so we know the slant part now it's 1.53 so uh, it's going to be pi times the radius so the radius of the cone up there is 1.3 and the slant is 1.53 so that's all we need to do we get 6.25 and that's going to 
be meter squared because it's area. Right, so here then it's folded out, so it's a net of the cone. So if you imagine that the, the center comes up into the air and then we join around this here, it'll fold it into kind of a, into the cone shape. <coughs> so uh, the X here is actually going to be the length of the slant on the cone. So the slant up there was 1.53. So that's what the X is going to be here. So 1.53. So that's uh, the radius of this circle. Um, so of the net when, it, when it's finished. So for this one then let's um, just work out the area of the full circle first. So pi r squared. So it'll just be pi times 1.53 squared. So we get 7.354. When it's rounded off so that's the area of the full circle now the area of the rest of it then just this bit here has to be the same as the area of the curved surface of the cone above so that's 6.25 so i'm going to write 6.25 uh, as a fraction of the full area of the full circle And then to get the angle, we're just going to multiply it by 360. Because it's 360 degrees in a full circle. And you should get 306 in the end. And then that's all we have to do for that question.